So here's the thing. If somebody, somebody doesn't have to use the word persons, right. and they don't have to even use the word trinity, sure. they have to believe in the concept. The Godhead. They have to believe in the Godhead. And when, it, like if somebody says, hey, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they are distinct from one another, and they collectively make up the Godhead. I don't like to use the word persons because the Bible doesn't use the word persons. So here's the thing, if somebody, somebody doesn't have to use the word persons. That if it wanted us to have a word for the three, then it would have given us a word. Like if somebody says, hey, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they are distinct from one another. I believe that there is a distinction within the Godhead itself. And they collectively make up the Godhead. I believe that there are three that bear record in heaven, and these three are distinct, but at the same time, these three are one. A statement here that was made on my Facebook, like, they don't believe in that, they believe in the distinctions. Which, yeah, okay, they don't believe in the biblical distinctions. They believe in most. Yeah. That Classical modalism was like a heresy that took place in the like third, fourth century time. A guy named Sibelius was a big leader of all of this. And it was the teaching that God operates in different modes. And he goes from one mode to the other. And he cannot operate in one mode at a time. I reject that. I do not believe that. You know, I 100% reject that. I do not believe that God operates in modes. The modes implies that he is being something that he is not, number one. Now, modern day modalism is one would be oneness Pentecostalism, like another version of modalism. And they teach that God operates, can, can operate in all three modes at the same time. I know they believe that he can be simultaneously you know, in all three modes at the same time. I reject that. I do not believe that God is in three modes. That's ridiculous. I reject that. that that's, they the believe, that's the distinction. They, they believe in modes. They believe in modalism. Believe in modalism. Believe in modalism. I, I believe that both are true. I believe that there are both three and that there are one. That's what I believe. I believe there's only one God, and they're all one. These three are one. Okay, and people are saying, well, now, now you're saying there's no distinction. I didn't say that. I'm not saying there's no distinction. You could go to scores of verses throughout the Old Testament and prove that there is a distinction between, between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And so, I mean, I, that's, that's kind of the million-dollar question is what is the difference between what Tyler is teaching and oneness Pentecostalism? Because... I'm looking at it, and there is no difference. Yeah. You know? And here's the thing. Don't take our word for it. All you got to do is watch a, a, a four-minute clip that I uploaded where I said, you know, oneness heresy out of Tyler's own mouth, where I condensed his 75 minutes down to the four minutes where he basically teaches modalism. You know, it's been said that I just reject the Trinity, and I don't believe that that's, that that's true. Um, you know, I, I, the Trinity teaches, you know, this is what the, the Trinity teaches. The Trinity teaches that there are three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I do believe that. I believe that there are three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, the, the Trinity teaches that these three are one, and I do believe that. And, you know, I also believe that there is a distinction, of course. Uh, I don't believe that there is just no distinction. Uh, pastors in our own movement that are not in lockstep with me, even on this very issue of the Trinity. There are even pastors in our movement that are a little bit different on the Trinity. Yeah. And frankly, they're wrong. I taught that God is three entities, three separate individuals. They exist at the same time and they are one God. I believe that there are three that bear record in heaven, and these three are distinct, but at the same time, these three are one. That are coexisting, that are co-equal, that are all eternal, that are one God. I believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost are co-eternal. I believe that they coexist, and I believe that they are co-equal. I believe, Verity Baptist Church believes, and the Bible teaches that the doctrine of the Trinity is that there are three individual, separate entities that are coexisting, that are co-equal, that are all eternal, that are one God. That's the Trinity. I do believe that the three within the Godhead, um, that they are separate, that they are eternal, that they are coexisting, 
They are co-equal. If pastors don't see the Trinity exactly like we do, that doesn't mean they're not saved. It doesn't mean that they're heretics. It doesn't mean that they're bad people. I have no problem with using the, tr the word Trinity, but I do, I don't like that when I use the word Trinity that it would yoke me in with people that believe more in like the Orthodox Trinity. Right. And they don't have to even use the word Trinity. You know, it's been said that I just reject the Trinity and I don't believe that that's, that that's true. Because they say they don't reject the Trinity. It's sort of like saying, well, I don't reject the Bible. I just reject Genesis through Revelation. Yeah. Okay, the Trinity means, dictionary definition in any dictionary, it means Three persons, one God. That's right. Okay. People sometimes will scoff at Wikipedia, like, oh, you got it from Wikipedia. Right. But, but, yeah. I mean, Wikipedia is actually a pretty good source of information on a lot of things. It's crowdsourced. It's crowdsourced. It's, 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 a, it's kind of a hive mind. That's what I did. I went on the Wikipedia page. And I, that's what I did. I went on the Wikipedia page. And I that's what I did. I went on the Wikipedia page. In fact, I've even got the printout from Wikipedia here. So here's the here's the second paragraph from the Oneness Pentecostalism Wikipedia page. Or in a whole bunch of different dictionaries. I looked it up in Merriam-Webster. Okay, Random House Dictionary. Collins English Dictionary. So I looked it up in like 10 different dictionaries. It's sort of like Trinity's not in the Bible. But then we need to just get back to the Word of God. We need to get back to the Bible. We're not saying three separate persons. We're saying three distinct persons, okay? Because, you know, separate persons would be like, they're, like they're just totally separate. Uh, the first John 5, 7 said, these three are one. Yeah. Notice it doesn't say this one is three, which is... Okay. Because, you know, separate persons would be like, they're, like they're just totally separate. Uh, these three are one. Yeah. Notice it doesn't say this one is three, which is... I'm not trying to put Jesus in a box here, but when they say we reject three persons, somebody doesn't have to use the word persons. Or if they say we reject the Trinity, that tells you what they believe, folks. I have no problem with using the, tr the word Trinity. I reject modalism, I reject oneness Pentecostalism, and if somebody tells you, which I know they are, they're telling everybody that I believe in modalism, they're a liar. I you don't have to believe exactly like me or Brother Romero or Brother Fan on the network. We don't have to even use the word Trinity. 